I'm Chao Liang from Group 7. I'm Zheng Yu from Group 7. And I'm Sun Xiong also from Group 7. The title that we're going to bring out is the Keyword Spotting Based Smart Home System on ARM Cortex M4. So what is the Embedded Machine Learning? Embed embedded Machine Learning is actually running the machine learning algorithm on an embedded system. So what is the main what is the keyword spotting system mean? So keyword spotting system is actually a form of a voice recognition that allows the computer or the embedded system to respond to certain uh, spoken words. So now today, one of the most common keyword spotting system we can see in our daily life is the artificial intelligent personal assistant, which appear in our smart system. So this project is also further illustrate the an, an integrated system that can control the loads like the common home application. So in this project, there are four important parts. First of all, is a firmware implemented in the STM32 F446RE. So why we select this uh, STM32 microcontroller is because of its uh, affordable price and it has a good uh, fresh memory and good operating frequency. So the, for the input hardware that we choose is a uh, the Omi Directional IMP441 MEMS microphone. So why we choose this microphone is because this microphone have a very high SNR and high sensitivity, which make it perform excellent in near field application. So our output will we will use the two LED as an indicator, and we also use the software putty as a serial terminal program. Let me introduce the methodology of this project. There are three main methodology, which is data curation, data acquisition, and trained neural network. The data curation is done by using the Google speech command data set with the Python script. And the, the data acquisition and trained neural network is done in the edge impulse. The data set is randomly shuffled and 20% of the set is assigned for train train for testing after training and 80% is used for the training. The extract feature for the project is done using few steps, which is create the impulse for the MSCC and the neural network in the class. The main extract feature for this project is the mouth frequency capstra coefficients MFCC, the signal will flame into short frames around 0.2 second, 0 0.02 second in a beginning of the process. Next, the power spectrum for the flame signal will calculate by pyrodogram estimation. The mouth filter bank play an important role to the power spectrum, which used to calculate the summation of the energy for all the filters. Beside the logarithm and the discrete co cosine transform, DCT coefficient of the log filter bank energy was taken and only keep the second to 13 DCT coefficients for a filter for a further use. The reason for the flame, the sample signal to shorter time scales is because the audio signal is changing within the with the time. Therefore, to get the set stable audio signal we need to do so. The audio sample flame can not be too long or too short. This is because if the two is too short, the valid reliable spectral estimate will not able to obtain. While if too long means signal will keep on changing and too much of throughout for the flame. The, beside the frequency for each flame can be identified by calculate the power spectrum and followed by the pyrodogram estimation. The mouth filter bank used to filter out all the unwanted information for the pyrodogram spectrum estimate, which need to use in the KWS, which is keyword spotting system. The mouth filter cannot, ca sorry, the mouth filter can be spread to few stage. The first stage is the narrow filter, which used to indicate the energy exit in around zero hertz. The filter will become wider when the frequency increase. The energy at the particular spot can be 
determine using this filter. Here come a skill named mouse skill, which used to tell user about how wider the filter bank is. The mouse skill is a skill that relate the receiving frequency for a pure tone with an actual measure frequency. The reason to take logarithm of the filter bank is to make the system can act like actual, what, actually what human be, being here. The density of the filter bank will compute due to an uh, overlapping of the filter bank and the energy of the filter bank were correlated with each other. The DCT can help to decorrelate the energies. By taking only second to third DCT coefficient can help to maintain the performance of the system. This is because there are fast change in a high DCT coefficient in a filter bank. Next. So after we get the extra MSCC feature, we will fit into our neural network. The architecture that we select in this uh, project is the convolutional neural network, which is CNN. So first of all, the MSCC feature is fit into a reshaped layer, which consists of uh, 13 columns. Then the next implemented layer is a pool layer of a 1D convolution, which consists of uh, eight neurons and with three kernel size. So then it will progress into a 1D max polling progress, which used to summarize the most activated presence of the feature. So during this phase, the system is experienced uh, about a, a drawout rate for about 0 0.25. So after that, it will, it will proceed to the next convolution layer, which consists of 16 neurons and with three kernel size in one layer. Then it will go through one more layer of a uh, max polling layer, which is also uh, will cause a dropout rate for about 0 0.25 before it can flatten out into the vector as shown as in this uh, picture. So uh, next. Now I will present the basic idea for the system. First of all, the surrounding sound will capture by the microphone and store into buffer. Once the buffer fill up, it will trigger the system flow shown as below. MFCC will start to extract the feature from the data in the buffer and pass to the TF light model. Tensor flow light model will classify the data and provide a probability result for each of the classes. The probability result of yes command will fit into the decision making algorithm. We have set up a threshold value of 0 0.5. If the probability result of yes command is larger than 0 0.5, then the system will do the action accordingly, else it will do nothing. The spectrogram here shows the noise sample and TF light model give a result of 0 0.02, and the system do nothing. Next. So this, this is the sample of unknown command and the result still behave the same. Next. This is the spectrogram of yes command and the TF line model gives result of 0 0.89, which is greater than 0 0.5. Now the system will do the desired actions. Next. Before go to the demo section, I would like to give a summary of the performance of our system. This system having low inferencing time, which is only 4 milliseconds, and a peak RAM usage of 5.3 kilobytes and 36.1 kilobytes of ROM. The overall accuracy of the system is around 89% and it having 90% accuracy to recognize yes word and 80% to recognize no word. So in the demo section later, the system will light up the white LED when the yes command detected and light up the red LED when no command detected. It will do nothing for the unknown command and also noise command. Now we can go through the demo. Yes. No. Yes. Up. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 